the dreamy valley of a peaceful river. Mellow fields, meadows, hills and hillocks scattered over and beyond, some woody, others adorned with vineyards. There are castles, cottages, and churches. If you climb one of the hills at the right time of the day, you will hear the music of the bells from far away. The path to the church leads past the chapels of the sorrows of the Virgin Mary. From afar is heard the prophecy from the Bible announcing the sorrows of Our Lady. At that time, there was a man in Jerusalem named Simeon. When the parents came to present the baby Jesus, Simeon took the child in his arms and said to Mary, This child is destined to cause many in Israel to fall and many to rise. He has been sent as a sign from God, but many will oppose him. As a result, the deepest thoughts of many hearts will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your very soul. The Mount of Sorrows moves you. There, everyone finds something for himself. A traveler, welcome rest. A rambler, unspoiled nature. A lover of art, a stone altar, frescoes by Yeloshik and altar paintings by Menzingel. A pilgrim, a quiet nook where he can in silence talk with his God. Around the altar there are many votive pictures which bear witness to many prayers having been granted through the intercession of Our Lady of Sorrows. One of them tells us of an event from 1683. In an attack, the Turks captured a Slovene soldier. They put him in chains and threw him into prison. There was very little hope of a rescue and time was passing away. Then the soldier remembered people talking about prayers being granted on the Mount of Sorrows, and at that moment he made a vow to go to the sacred place if Our Lady saved him from captivity. At once the chains fell off and the soldier walked free past the sleeping guards. When he returned home, he told the story to a cobbler friend who had been gravely ill with inflammation of the lungs and was miraculously cured. In thanksgiving, they made a pilgrimage together to the Mount of Sorrows. Along the path, you also reached the Holy Stairs. In Slovene, they are called Svete Stenge. They are among the most beautiful in Slovenia. You pray by climbing up the stairs on your knees. The place itself and tradition touch you. In silence you admire the frescoes representing the Passion, 27 scenes from the Last Supper to the Resurrection. The last stop is in front of the Chapel of the Holy Sepulchre. There is one further reward you receive for climbing the Mount of Sorrows. Courage. The sorrows of Our Lady, mainly her presence at the foot of the cross, can inspire us with courage when we have to face trials of life. In those moments, we turn for protection to our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Sorrows. <laughs> 